Hello. Another day, another X-Life episode. Apparently, if you ask people to subscribe at the start of videos, they're more likely to subscribe. So I'm gonna ask that now and hopefully I don't cut it out in editing, but make sure to- Welcome back to another episode of X-Life. We are here today in the Jeremy Holy Land as something strange has been going on here. I've been building this by myself. The only person other than me who knows of the location is Jimmy and also the Coven who were meant to build an embassy but haven't as the island is still empty. But last time we were here, we built this temple but it seems like something strange has been going on inside. What is this? <gasps> Whoa, who built this? It definitely wasn't me. This is not my style at all. And look, here we have the eight statements of Jeremyism. Wow, if a pet has been given thy name of Jeremy, it must not be renamed. Thou shall not steal, thou shall not murder, without permission, of course. I have been following that rule. Thou must take care of all donkeys. Yes, I've been doing that. Thou must own a donkey. Not sure if you can technically own a donkey, but Donkey Jeremy is in my possession. Never insult Donkey Jeremy. I would never. Never let Donkey Jeremy be harmed, of course, and protect Donkey Jeremy at all costs. Wow, they really want us to take care of Donkey Jeremy. This place is really pretty in here. I do like how it's looking. Whoever built this must be really, really amazing. Wait, what's this? Why is there dirt over here? <gasps> what have I unearthed? An ancient book? What does it say? Many, many centuries ago in the year 600 BJ, there was a tree. It was your standard tree, but what was about to happen underneath it still hasn't been explained to this day. A girl with pink hair was walking by, doing what she excelled at, being chaotic, when all of a sudden she heard a faint hee-haw. Under the tree, wrapped in a blanket, she saw a baby donkey. That donkey's name was Jeremy. How does she know its name? Well, this is Minecraft and he had a name tag on. She took the donkey in and raised him as if he was her own child. Whilst Donkey Jeremy grew up, strange things started to happen. Whilst mining, Lizzie would find diamonds at triple the rate she normally found them. Her wheat grew quicker and her sugarcane grew the tallest in all of the land. This began to attract attention and the word of Jeremy began to spread. The magical donkey. People flocked to live near such a wonderful creature and Jeremy Land was created. Magic palaces were built. The original Jeremy tree grew bigger than all trees, but one day something terrible happened. Donkey Jeremy was stolen from his bed. The Jeremy Land never saw him again and hope was lost. That was until a young sprite named Smallish Beans found him and learned the ways of Jeremyism. He created Jeremyville in his honor and set out on a quest to find the Holy Land, which he'd seen in a vision from the one true Jeremy. Whoa. Guys, <gasps> when did my outfit change? Jeremy has powers that are too strong for my mind. So there you have it. The origin story of Jeremy. Who knew? Lizzie is the one who started Jeremyism. What? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. This book is the most valuable thing on this server. The ancient book of Jeremy, look at it. Wow, wow, wow. We need to store this safe, and I have just the idea. Now that I know the true start of Jeremyism, I must build a statue in honor of the creator. I thought this was fan art, but little did I know the truth behind it. But something must have happened. Lizzie has completely forgotten about all of this, obviously. Maybe if I build the statue, it'll remind her and she'll take her place as the head of Jeremyism. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna head back to the Holy Land, as who knew that one thing that I forgot to add to this list would be the statue of the one true Jeremy. And I believe that one true Jeremy is Lizzie. <laughs> By the way, she's probably gonna hate me for all of this, <laughs> but she married me. All right, so I think this statue should go behind this town hall here. That'd be quite a nice entrance if you walked out of here and you saw the town hall. That'd be cool. So I think I'll build it just over here. We're going to have to do some terraforming and stuff. Hello, fella. What are you doing? Also, probably should finish terraforming this bit here as there's quite a lot of floating dirt around here. It's double layered. Though, whip, it's double layered. A nice waterfall there. Ooh, some building. Ooh, I do love a bit of building. Right. I've spent way too long creating the story of Jeremy. Not, I mean, reading the story of Jeremy and watching that flashback, that was real. But it's time we bring Lazy Beans onto the server and we get building. Are you ready? I'm not sure if you are. Let me tell you, you say you're ready. 
I can't hear you, this is a video. Okay, let's just start the build. So I like building buildings in Minecraft. When it comes to statues, I kind of am not very good. Like building Jack statue, for instance, was quite like a struggle for me. And building all like, you know, the donkey and Panda Rock and like, you know, the Mount Rushmore or Mount Jeremy as we call it here was kind of a struggle as well. But what I do like building is some terrain, which added a nice little waterfall in here. I've left the bit in the middle till with the board. That's gonna be gone eventually. I just put it there for now. Uh, I also added a tree because I love building trees as well. But we eventually got working on the statue and I'm actually really happy with this thing. I think it looks awesome. I made a base for it, put this sort of like dark oak and sort of one of these wallpaper cyan blocks in the middle of it is where the statue is going to sit. And this took a surprisingly long time to build. I think in total, probably around two or three hours. And that's not including the like hour and a half it took for me to come up with the design in a single player world. I'm really liking this idea of the fact that Lizzie is the head of Jeremy's and then she doesn't know it. Like that's my favorite thing. I think I'm gonna make that a thing now. So this statue is essentially a picture of what happened at the start of Jeremyism. You'll see in a second that we add in a little baby Donkey Jeremy, the original Donkey Jeremy, the one that we have with us to this day. We still need to build him a house. I haven't done that yet, but he's going to have a house in the Holy Land. It's not going to be like the one in the video where it's made of full diamonds because that is completely ridiculous and would just looks ugly. I want to actually make him a grand mansion. I'll probably use some diamonds in there a little bit. And it was tricky to make a little tiny donkey, but I came up with a design that I think looks really, really cute and I'm quite happy with it. I've just realized I've left a bit in one of his ears there. That's not meant to be there. I'm gonna have to go change that after this. Also, I put Lizzie holding a book of Jeremy. The ancient book, I guess it could be, is what she's written and what I read earlier. Lizzie wrote those words, she just forgot about it, okay? Then I finished it off by just decorating, putting some neat bushes in, and we are done. And there you have it. I didn't want to put a face on it because I think it just looks more like a statue without, but look at Jeremy, oh, isn't he so cute? Oh, I love him. He's a little baby when he was a little baby. Uh, so Lizzie's got a little lead on him there. She's got the book as well. And it kind of looks like a beard, but it's maybe like a coat, obviously. I hope people don't think it's a beard. It's not a beard. She's holding the book. Very grand indeed. This little area down here is very neat. And we've also got the creator, which is Lizzie. And we've also got the ancient book of Jeremy, which is the one I said earlier, which we store here. So that's very nice indeed. I might have to get some people on to show them. But before we do, we're gonna head to spawn. As I saw Catherine put something in our chat. Why is there fox in here? Hello. Something about a Christmas shop, and I know it's only like November 19th, but I'm curious, okay? I'm curious. I wonder where she's put it. Oh, I see where she's put it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, very Christmassy, isn't it? Catherine's Christmas shop. We've got a little igloo here with a snowman inside. Christmas decor. Okay. So we got wreaths and fairy lights oh and a christmas tree service i might have to request one of those like m imagine a massive christmas tree where my waystone is in my house i'm not gonna buy any decor for now because honestly it's november 19th come on but like a huge christmas tree right in the center here would be really cool but wait we don't celebrate Christmas because that's not our religion. That's, that's giving me an idea for next episode. Now, one thing I haven't done in a while, which I kind of need to do as we're getting kind of low, is go mining. And I haven't been on a proper mining trip in forever, but I've got a bit of spare time. So we're going to head down, fix up this hammer, and then we're going to go on a quick mining trip. I want the Jeremy Holy Land to be the richest land of them all. We're actually going to head out there and we're going to find a space to go mining. Just got to dig down, basically. I'm going to put a timer for an hour and we're going to see how many diamonds we're going to get. 58 already. We've been doing it for 30 seconds. Look, this is how far I've come. So a full hour of mining and oh my gosh, we cleared a lot of space. Look at this. You think it's going to end? No, it continues. It just gets bigger and bigger. We cleared so much space. I let all the cobblestone just despawn because I, I didn't have time for that. But you're probably wondering, Joel, how did you do for diamonds? And I got kind of unlucky, to be honest, with finding diamond clusters. However, for an hour, in vanilla Minecraft, this would be a ridiculous amount because, yes, I, I got I got a decent amount of diamonds. We got 11 stacks and three more. That's weird that we got exactly 11 stacks. I had them all splayed out in my inventory like this, and it's exactly a stack. It looks like I cheated them in, but I promise you I didn't. There is no way I can cheat them in. Look. It doesn't work. Also, my backpack. I got a couple of spawners, some gold ore. In fact, quite a lot of gold ore. 
some iron ore, but most importantly, lots of diamonds, which we can spend in the shops and have no worries anymore about running out anytime soon, which is lovely. Also, look, we found some marble, so we can get that for the future. In fact, I might mine that up right now. <laughs> look, there's more diamond below there. And to give you an example, look, there's two blocks of diamond here. If I do one, that gave me nine. Another one, another nine, and that one, another nine. Anyway, time to head back to the base. Our diamond chest is looking pretty good. That's nearly two stacks of diamond blocks there. Now something special is about to happen. Lizzie is online as long with Scott and Catherine. They're about to build their embassy, which you'll be able to see in their videos. But that means Lizzie's coming to the Holy Land. I'm going to show her and maybe it will trigger a memory of what she has done. So Lizzie, welcome to the Holy Land of Jeremy. I know you're in the coven, but you are welcome here. I see your embassy is soon to be built. I'm happy that you guys are able to join us in the Holy Land. Thank you. Glad to be here, Joel. It's always a pleasure. Well, the thing is, you've been here before, haven't you? Have I? Do you not remember? I think I would remember coming 5,000 blocks oh, away no. from my house. Uh, well, none of this is striking any like resemblance to you in at all. It's very cute. It's very much my brand, but I don't recall ever meeting it before. Interesting, interesting. So... You don't remember anything. That's interesting. If you'd like to come through, this is our town hall here uh, where we conduct everything, Jeremy. Uh, we've got a nice few paintings here of like, this is the rise of Donkey Jeremy and that's the first follower, which is me. I love it. I love the donkeys. Thank you. And have you seen not this? Not so much the chicken. Oh. What is this? Do you not remember? Leader? Who's this? Do you not remember? This is you. You're the creator. You are the first Jeremy. Creator of Jeremyism. This is the ancient book of Jeremy. No, you are mistaken. That's not me. You've forgotten. It's okay. You've forgotten. I haven't forgotten, Joel. <laughs> yes, you, you have. are mistaken. You've forgotten. Read the book. You've forgotten. Look this at that poor donkey on that leash. It is not having a good time. It's I would so never he do won't that. escape. He, he's, he's, he, not escape. I mean, Why would he want to escape he, if he's I mean, Jeremy? He would, he would run away and get hurt. You need to protect Jeremy at all costs. It's on our commandments. Joel, this doesn't even look like me. This looks like a wizard. It's you and your robes. No, it's a wizard. But you created Jeremyism. You need to remember. Maybe one day you will, but obviously now is not the time. I hey, excuse this... me. I'm not that old that I'm losing my memory. I would think I would remember starting a cult. <laughs> no, it, you must have had an accident and banged your head or something because you would remember this. Also, it's not a yeah, cult. Yeah, if I'm responsible for this Jeremyism thing, it must be a head injury that caused it because I would never do this in my right sane mind. Well... Let's agree to disagree, and I will bow down to you as I disagree leader. to disagree. What? <laughs> I want you to agree with me that I am not the cult leader. Okay, leader. I mean, okay. No, I'm not going to be able to Wait, agree with that. Wait, I'm the leader? You're the leader. I officially disbanded the cult. No, no, no not that. Like, you you are the, the true leader, but at the moment, I am the one well, who Well, as the controls. true leader, I, I I'm, officially I'm, disband the I'm cult. I'm head of the church at the moment. You you don't get to disband it. it it's going to go before the council, and unfortunately, I'm not sure you'll be outvoted. So. I'm not even on the council? You, you are on the council, but you need a full everyone to vote in favour for a vote to go through. That doesn't seem very leaderish. I think this whole thing is a ruse. I think you're just trying to trick me away from the coven. Uh, no, and they all they all love me I very like the much. Coven. There's no in Jeremyism you can be in the cult and the coven. It's only the coven that says no to Jeremyism. Where are you going? Lizzie, come back. Leader. I'm not your leader. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Guys, she just doesn't believe that she's the leader yet, but soon we'll convince her. Do you have that problem a lot? A lot of people don't believe in Jeremyism or? No, we've got, we got quite a following. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like Lizzie hasn't remembered yet what has happened to her. Maybe she needs like another hit on the head or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I should have dropped an anvil on it. We can maybe work that out with her. I don't know. We'll have to see in the future if we can re-trigger that memory. Also, look at the view of the Virgin Mary from out here. Oh, beautiful. There's just views everywhere you look in the holy land of Jeremy. Look out this window. Oh, so nice. Look out this window. What the heck? What's going on? She spotted me. Now, unfortunately, guys, that is all we have got time for for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.